Vlog number four. I have a ton of stories about feeling rejected and being left out. As a kid, I was a homeschooler in a town where I was also the new kid, um, which made it pretty awkward. After high school, I worked second shift when most of my peers either didn't have jobs, and if they did, they were part-timers uh, on first shift. Um, during college, I was the only person who had a full-time job. Um, when same scenario, most people either didn't have jobs because their parents were paying for them to live, and so after class, everybody would run off to go hang out and party, and I would have to go to work. Um, I was kicked out of a church once for standing up for something that was right. Uh, if you want to hear that story, check out vlog number two. I will leave a link below. Um, it's a pretty interesting one. Uh, so I've got a ton of these stories and the thing is, is they just keep happening. One time I was invited to a Christmas party at a country club and if you can imagine, I don't know if you have seen my tattoos or <laughs> the way I look, but uh, let's just say I don't fit in in a country club. Um, also I was told that the party was casual. Apparently at country clubs casual is a little bit different than my casual. So needless to say uh, I did not fit in in that party at all um, and caused a tiny bit of a ruckus when I requested ice cubes. It was a good day. <laughs> I love that song. For some reason I feel like I've always lived on the outskirts of society. I've just kind of always been in this position where I never quite felt like I belonged anywhere. Like I, I fit in with the people um, that I was trying to hang out with. Uh, it just seemed like I, I always had other things to do when everybody else was hanging out, you know, or uh, it just seemed like I, I never could quite um, fit into the conversation um, that people were having, and, you know, just really felt like I just didn't belong in this group. that normal people turn their noses up at and label as outsiders. We're told we don't belong. But here's where it gets interesting. Christians always make Jesus out to be this guy in a white robe, but here's how the Bible describes him. It says that he was, there was nothing majestic and beautiful about him. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with the deepest grief. There's another story that I really love. Jesus had just made Matthew his disciple, and they go back to Matthew's house for a party. Now, Matthew was a tax collector, so he invites all of his other tax collector buddies over and other disreputable sinners. And they're having this party, they're eating and drinking, and the Pharisees come over and they ask uh, some other followers of Jesus, why does your master always hang out with these scum? And I love this because not only was Jesus despised and rejected, he made it a habit to hang out with people who were also despised and rejected. The disreputable society, if you will. And another reason I love this is because no matter how much I feel like an outsider, it tells me that Jesus was an outsider, which means that you and me were his kind of people. That is it for vlog number four. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And feel free to leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and I will see you next time.